Kilo 8, Tango November Tango, like dynamite. TNT? TNT. Roger, and what's the name there, please, sir? Uh, was it uh, Jerry or, or Gary? Roger, Roger, and uh, Gary, what uh, radio are you running, sir? Sure. Uh, this is the A2 XT 3000. Uh, Roger, and what's your uh, location again? Yeah. Uh, location is in Michigan, uh, near Flint, Michigan, and in the township of Grand Point. Go ahead. Uh, Roger that, Gary. I'm copying you on the uh, Milford. Uh, P-A-S-D-R, and you're giving that uh, S-D-R about a 10 over, Roger. Roger. <laughs> Good deal. I'm glad that uh, I can reach you. I just thought, uh, I just got this mic for this radio. I really haven't had a chan chance to adjust or anything. I just put it on and uh, put it play with a little switch on the bottom. It's got three little positions for it. And uh, I just wondered how it sounds in this position as well. Go ahead. Uh, I would leave it in that position. It uh, sounds beautiful. I wouldn't. I wouldn't change a thing on that microphone. You might. Uh, uh, you, we might get you a little fatter if you'd be interested in that uh, audio-wise. But uh, the mic setting itself, uh, I think, is just perfect. Perfect. Oh, good, good. Glad to hear that. I. Uh I've only uh, used it once or twice uh, since I've had it, so um, I really haven't had any good, great comments on it, but uh, I kind of asked, and everybody says, oh, it sounds good, you know, but yeah, you really don't know what they mean when they say it sounds good, so I thought I'd give you a chance to give me a real uh, 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 a check out and uh, let me know what's going on. Go ahead. Roger. Now, I am copying you on uh, an SDR, and SDRs are notorious for uh, not uh, real good frequency response on the bottom end. They all seem, seem to uh, roll after 150 cycles or two, uh, but uh, your audio is, uh, you know, uh, on that SDR is uh, nice and bright, and it's exactly where uh, you would want to be EQ was uh, from that, that microphone. Now, uh, to uh, get to the fattening part, uh, we suggest running that uh, compressor and engage the compressor at about a 3 out of 10. It's just a, a token amount, but a 3 out of 10, that's the beginning of the uh, fattening process. Roger? Roger, okay, I can make that change, but uh, it's a menu selection. I can do it later. I probably won't turn it past the 3, but uh, it's Probably, with I don't know if it sounds good now. I don't know what to do with it. A little bit more compression. Go ahead. Oh, Roger, what is this part of the uh, setup there? Uh, it, your dynamic range looks to be. Uh, well, uh, come back and tell me about your antenna system. Oh, antenna system is a uh, horizontal loop of about 30 feet. Other stations, stand by just a moment. Uh, we're working on uh, Gary right now. Uh, and now, uh, yeah, Gary, uh, you're going to have to give me a, a little bit more audio than that. Roger, Roger. Roger. Okay, uh, well, I can tell you about the antenna system. The uh, antenna right now is a horizontal loop. It's up about 30 feet in the air, and uh, it's uh, fed with twin coax. Go ahead. Roger. Uh, Gary, I, I wouldn't change a thing. I mean, you got it going there, buddy. Uh, you're a 3 dB dynamic range, so your average peak modulation is between 80 and 85 percent. Uh, your uh, microphone is uh, pretty well articulated uh, from the, uh, you know, nice top end, uh, so uh, your words are nice and crisp, and uh, so you uh, will be able to be understood even when you're towards someone's noise level because uh, your audio is. Uh, 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 bright and articulated. Roger. Roger. Oh boy, if it sounds half as good as yours, I'll be a happy camper, I'll tell you that. Jim, it's, uh, you, you know, you, I've been listening to you for a little while here, and uh, you've got great, great audio. Okay, well, thank you. I'm not touching a thing. I just leave it alone, and I uh, got lucky then with the mic, because I just bought the mic at a swap here in Gladwin, Michigan. And, uh, 
just so I, I try something else for a change on the radio. So with that, we'll say 73s, and we'll say thank you again. Appreciate your help. And I've also got a 7300, and I may be back next Friday with that, and we can critique that one. How's that? Oh, that's fine. Uh, I'll add it to my list. I think we're at about 170 uh, 7300 uh uh, audio setups. <laughs> so uh, if you get a chance, yeah, drop by uh, next to Friday with that uh, 7300 and we'll uh, we'll get that thing uh, running uh, with uh, about a 3 dB dynamic range, average uh, peak modulations 80 to 85 percent. And then uh, if you're, uh, are you still running the hand mic on that 7300? No, no, I'm running a gold line on the 7300. Okay, well, you know that 7300 hand mic is uh, just an outstanding mic. Those uh, ICOM folks didn't just put that hand mic on there for, for no reason. That uh, 7300 with that hand mic, it's an electret condenser hand mic, and it just shows off that radio just uh, beautifully. Uh, and uh, so uh, when you go to a desk mic and take that hand mic off, you're going to probably have to do a little EQing to uh, come up to snuff uh, and to equal what the hand mic was doing. Uh, Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger, Roger. I understand. I had a lot of nice audio comments with the hand mic, to be honest about it. But you know how it is. Uh, you know, you got, you got, I was going to try something else, and uh, I want to try a desk mic. Uh, actually, I got an SM30 as well. And uh, But right now, I'm, I'm trying the gold line on it. So, Jim, I just... Take kind of play around so I uh, get a good combination, and luckily I got this one very early. Go ahead. Roger, Roger. Now that uh, 30, is that an electret uh, mic, a desk mic? Uh, yeah, boy, it's a dynamic. Uh, it's a dynamic. It's a dynamic mic. Go ahead. I believe it's electric. Probably 600 of Okay, well, you know, it, it either is a dynamic or electret. If it was an electret, you'd be a lot closer to match that hand mic uh, than a dynamic mic. But uh, I'm sure we can uh, we can make it sound good uh, through EQ. Uh, so uh, if you get a chance, uh, drop by next Friday. Roger, Roger. Roger. Roger, Roger. three. thanks a lot, Jim, and appreciate your, uh, your info. Thank you very much. And your input, KTNT, QRT here. Go ahead. Roger, Roger, Gary. Three's that way, sir. Have a great uh, afternoon, and uh, we'll see you next Friday, if if possible. Uh, this is uh, Kilo Charlie Nine, Victor Kilo Victor, and the uh, Friday afternoon QSO Vlog uh, Network. If you've got a radio you want to check out, uh, we are recording now live till five. And uh, if you need a little assistance in uh, setting it up, uh, we do that also. This is KC Nine VKV.